Here, here, eat. What the hell is the matter with you? You made a mess. I can't shoot that fast. Oh, so this is my fault. Sorry, I'm late. The bus took a wrong turn and- It's about damn time. Cynthia is a mess. I want her fed and cleaned right now. And do me a favor, roll her the hell out of here. I have to work on my music and I need to concentrate. Thank you, Lisa. And keep it down. You're always so kind to me. He seems a little bit more frustrated than usual today. Are you okay? Yeah, he's just under pressure to get his music career going. Maybe he thinks I'm holding him back. Listen, Cynthia, this is not your fault. And if you don't mind me asking, I've been working here for a couple of months now and uh, I'm kind of curious, how did it happen? My injury? Well, it was a freak accident. I was heading downstairs to do the laundry and one of the top steps broke. It was the strangest thing. I fell down the stairs and severely injured my neck and now I'm paralyzed. Dennis was so furious that he smashed the faulty piece of wood with a hammer. I've never seen him so upset. The doctor told me there's a chance I may never regain full control of my body again. Just promise me, Cynthia, one thing. Please, don't ever give up. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Okay, talk to you soon. Hey, Sin, you know who that was? It was the insurance company. And they just settled on your injury claim. Two million dollars. That's amazing, Dennis! Oh, I'm so happy you took out extra injury insurance last fall. You know I always take care of you, baby. Oh, and now he can invest in physio, so I may be able to walk again. What? Are you serious? Look, the doctor said there was very little chance for you to ever recover. I'm just making sure that you don't keep your hopes up, okay? Anyways, um, I gotta head out. I'm spinning at the vault nightclub tonight. So do me a favor. Don't wait for me. Maybe we should celebrate. I'll open a bottle of wine. <laughs> nice piece, Steve. Oh, this? This is nothing. Now that I'm a millionaire, I am gonna build bigger. I'm gonna build a recording studio. Oh. And then, uh, and maybe me and you to make some beautiful music together. <clears throat> oh. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, what are you still doing here? Your wife needs constant supervision, and you were out late, so. Yeah, about that. Well, what you saw here. What about it? I just never happened. Who are you again? <laughs> Not to know. <laughs> um, she's just a DJ friend, and uh, we're working. Got it? Married? Yeah, but what? I'll feel more. I don't even care if you're married. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing for what, boys? You do? Yeah. Well, I am <laughs> as bad as they come. <laughs> you know what? What would really turn me on? What's that? The <laughs> naughtiest thing you've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good. 
That's good. All right. Okay. One. Well. So um. Hey, can you please move this conversation into another room? I'm trying to work on my music. Before that, why don't you tell me about your little visitor you had last night? Is that what you told her? She's a musician friend. She's a DJ. She came over, we jammed, she got bored, she left five minutes later. What's the big deal? Don't tell her anything. Oh no? So who did? I told her. Okay. Some kind of joke. What's going on here? And why are you dressed like a cop? Because I'm a cop genius. Someone please tell me what the hell's going on. I think Cynthia should explain it. She's been wanting to say something for a long time. You see, I always thought it was suspicious that you purchased so much extra life insurance and injury insurance on me just weeks before my accident. Life insurance in case I didn't make it, injury insurance in case I did. You seem to have all your bases covered, don't you? Well, that's because I was trying to protect you. You rigged that top step so that I would fall. Then you destroyed that piece of wood before even calling for an ambulance. That's because I was angry at you. You know, without that proof that you sabotaged the top stair, it would have been nearly impossible to prove our case. But thankfully, we secured a confession last week. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, what confession? Had a lot to drink, so maybe this will help refresh your memory. You want to hear something naughty? A few months ago, I rigged those stairs so my wife would take a tumble. And now I'm gonna get rich off the insurance I bought. And now I can focus on my music career full time. No, no, no. No, it's. Dennis I... Richardson, you are under arrest for reckless endangerment and insurance fraud. Wait, before you go, I have something for you. I want a divorce. You're so brave. Oh my God, and I know one day you're gonna get all of your strength back. And the first thing I'm gonna do is smash that laptop. <laughs> Thanks for checking out our video. Hit that subscribe button for more videos every single week. And make sure to watch the next video here.